Hi, I'm here with Kanai Yamamoto, our head charista, and we are going to show you how to whisk your bowl of matcha. Now at the cafe, we serve it in a demitas right here. It's kind of the modern way. Or you can do it in a traditional chawan like I have here. But for this exercise, we're going to do it in our demitas. You ready? Yes. Great. Hi, so I'm going to show you all the equipment that we use here in the cafe. You may not have all of this at home. Um, this right here is called a yuzumashi. It's actually used to cool the water for tea, but it works really well for us because we pour the matcha, uh, the made matcha, into a demitasse. So we need something, a handle, and a pour spout. So your chawan won't have that. The bowl that you drink it in won't have that. This right here is called a chasen. It's the bamboo whisk. This is 100 tines. Um, which is the best one for whisking the foam of your matcha. Now, when you open your cha sen, all the, for the very first time, all of the tines will be curled in, and after you use it for a couple of times, it will kind of bloom like a flower and open up, and that's perfectly fine, and that's what you want. This, oops, this right here is called a cha shaku, and it's what we use to um, scoop out about one gram of matcha on each scoop. And I love this. It's all made out of one piece of bamboo. So the first thing Kanai is doing is she is heating the yuzumashi. This is a really important step because it'll help open up the fragrance um, and the taste of your matcha. And it's very important that you soften the tines of your bamboo because you, chasen, you do not want them to be breaking. So just gently um, put it in the hot water and let it relax. She's now going to heat the cup. And again, this just um, elevates the taste of the tea when you start drinking it. Okay, so just leave that to warm up. Right, the chasen has opened up a little further. This step is very important. You want to thoroughly, thoroughly dry the inside. If you do not, the matcha will stick to the bottom in clumps. So you want it to all be um, loose in there. Now, because we use so much matcha in the cafe, we have pre-sifted this. You won't probably have this much matcha at home. Um, so what you'll do is you will sift it through a tea strainer or a strainer directly into your bowl. We use three scoops, that's three grams, in our bold matcha shot. You may prefer a little bit less. Um, but we like uh, the strong flavor here in the cafe. Kanai is choosing a large scoop and getting water from our binkake. This um, scoop holds about 100 ml or a little bit more of water. The water is not hot. It's about 75 degrees, potentially 80 degrees. Now, there are several different schools of tea ceremony. Some say to whisk it in a W or an M. We prefer to whisk it straight back and forth. You start slowly and then you speed up as fast as you can, making sure that you're not hitting the sides of the bowl because that will break the tines. And what you're aiming for is a very, very frothy cappuccino-like top with no large bubbles whatsoever. Beautiful kanai. Right, and watch this frothy foamy top, it's gorgeous. so delicious. Ja, I think Kanai deserves this cup. 
どうぞ飲んでください。うん